Hello, I'm James Bruce with MakeUseOf.com and this is the Thecus N2310, a new two-bay network attached storage device available now for around $170. It also comes with a power adapter which uses a standard IEC plug or kettle lead as it's more commonly known, so you'll be able to move between countries easily. A Cat5e network cable and an assortment of drive fixing screws. On the hardware side, everything is cheap and cheerful plastic. It's really lightweight, but it, it is solid. Unfortunately, the noise insulating properties of lightweight plastic aren't that great, which means you can hear the drives inside, so it's far from whisper quiet, even when the fan isn't running. Around the back, you'll find a USB 2 and even a USB 3 port, which is pretty rare on a NAS device. Then you've got your LAN, your DC in, and a reset button. Around the front, there's the power on and a dizzying array of LEDs. The top one is power, that should be blue. The rest of them are hard disk status, informational lights, USB. They should all be white most of the time, or flickering white. If anything is red, it means there's an error somewhere. There's also a one-click USB copy button, but unfortunately I couldn't get that to work with any of the USB sticks or hard drives I plugged in, so perhaps there's a bug in this firmware version, I'd expect that to be fixed quickly. In terms of functionality, the core features you'd expect from a NAS are all there. USB printer sharing, easy to create shared folders, and there's even a version of Plex to handle your media, though since it's an ARM CPU, it will be limited in its transcoding abilities. Fixing some drives into the N2310 takes under a minute. Just unclip the drive bay, pull it out the front, and screw the drives in. It really couldn't be simpler. There's an iOS app called T on the Go supplied, which acts as a gateway to many cloud services as well as the NAS, allowing you to copy files to and from the drive, Google Drive, Dropbox, all from one place. You can watch movies from the NAS with the transploding, transcoding then taking place on the NAS itself. And playback was pretty smooth when I tried it locally. It's not the prettiest of apps though and there's no thumbnails, metadata or organization of any kind like you would get with Plex. It's just raw access to the share folders. Functional then. The Thecus OS interface itself is also best described as functional. But from a usability and design perspective, it's just appalling. My biggest gripe is with the information density. Open up the control panel and you'll find hundreds of icons, but click on some of them and you'll find a tab-based display with one or two lines of information on each tab. Thankfully, the search bar works, so you're better off just trying to search directly for the setting you want to try than trying to navigate the, the menu system. Look, it's a decent bit of hardware and performance-wise it certainly gets the job done. So if you literally just want something no frills that puts some shared folders on the network, this will work fine and it's, it's at a budget. But with such terribly designed user interface, it's just really hard to recommend this for the average user. The price seems to be pitched as budget-conscious home user, yet the interface complexity is more appropriate to a bland corporate environment where no one cares about ease of use. To be brutally honest, I'd say spend $30 more and buy the 2-bay Synology 213J device with its world-class DSM operating system. It's, it's a world of difference. Anyway, please head over to MakeUseOf.com to win this unit and to read the full review. Thanks for watching.